I'm going in. Cover me, Porkins. On today's Nerdist News. <laughs> Poor bastard. Who names somebody Porkins? We've assumed for a while now that Star Wars Rogue One, the first Star Wars spin-off, would be different from any that came before it. But something big was announced that confirms it definitely won't sound like any Star Wars we know. Why? Because John Williams won't be scoring the movie. Nope! This time, Alexandra Desplat is taking the reins. Boom! That's your head exploding. Desplat's name makes sense considering he bombastically scored Rogue One director Gareth Edwards' Godzilla, but his most recent claim to fame is his Oscar win for the Grand Budapest Hotel score. Not really what you'd call John Williams-esque, but honestly though, this piece of info is just the latest hint that Star Wars Rogue One is going to be unlike anything else we've ever seen from a galaxy far, far away. So let's break down all the hints that indicate we're in for something completely different. First off, there's Rogue One director Gareth Edwards, who, between monsters and Godzilla, has established a very grounded, almost found footagey style. Since we've never seen anything else from him, there's reason to believe Disney tapped him for that very reason. And his Star Wars could also have lots of handheld ground-level spectacle, a big leap from the slow-paced, super cinematic look of every Star Wars episode before it. Then you've got that title, Rogue One. Theories abound as to what it actually stands for, but our favorites are that it could mean anything from a film about X-Wing pilot Wedge Antilles and the Rogue Squadron, to a heist movie about a team of mercenaries stealing plans for the Death Star, or a Han Solo Boba Fett bounty hunters versus smugglers flick. Seriously, we have have heard all three from various sources. And finally, there's the concept art that was shown at a recent Disney stockholders meeting. Attendees describe the imagery to slash film as gritty, dark, and gray, with groups of five or so mercenaries in halo-like fatigue standing by some giant transport ships. That's about as vague and generic as you can get. But it does imply that Rogue One will take place in a more grounded, less fantastical corner of the Star Wars universe. For now, all we know for sure is that Rogue One will be directed by Edwards, scored by Despla, written by Chris Weitz, and will star that lady who almost played Black Cat, Felicity Jones. But it's heartening to know that the Star Wars franchise is now wide open and that, like Marvel's films, we'll be getting movies set in one of our favorite cinematic playgrounds from all sorts of different voices, genres, and tones. Now hurry the hell up and give Quentin Tarantino a fast-talking crime epic about the Hutt family, Disney. Do it. Yeah. What he said. But what do you guys think? Is Rogue One an X-Wing movie? A bounty hunter movie? A jukebox musical featuring Sice Noodle's greatest hits? Let's discuss. And thank you ever so much to today's sponsor, iZombie. Check out the CW's hilarious new Zomcom tonight at 9, 8 central. It's based on the awesome DC comics. It's from the creator of Veronica Mars, and it's about a zombie who kicks ass and solves crimes. You'd seriously have to be brain dead not to watch it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Definitely check out the series premiere of iZombie 9, 8 central tonight. The CW do it. Yeah. What he said. Share your opinions about Rogue One below, click my Boba Fett helmet to subscribe to Nerdist, find out how Jared Leto's Joker will look like in Suicide Squad, probably lots of guyliner, and head on over to Nerdist.com for even more Nerdist news.